Well hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and we're continuing in Montalto Estate and of course Montalto Estate is in Balnehinch and what we're actually going to do now is we're heading up to where part of the battle field was actually of the Battle of Balnehinch because part of the battle actually took place here on this hill and this hill is known as Ignavari Hill and this is where the rebels actually made their camp their headquarters and the field there to the right as you can see was part of the battlefield now you need to be careful going up here because uh, I've been told that there's some rebel troops and also some government troops uh, on the loose here so just keep your head down and be careful in case you get a, a musket ball and as you can see that's the battlefield there and the battle of Saintfield was actually the first major conflict of the 1798 rebellion which took place in County Down and so that was the first major one in County Down and it was a short but bloody clash on the 9th of June which actually resulted in a victory for the United Irishmen against the government troops and so the rebels after their victory at Saintfield they then moved on to Balnehinch with the aim of capturing the town and you get a good view there of the battlefield and I think I can actually see one of the soldiers here taking aim yes it is indeed and so this is one of the government soldiers here as you can see by the uniform and let's see what it says about him it says that he's a member of the British forces and he provides covering fire as Nugent that's uh, their commander, rallies his men. And so you can see that he's he's taking aim there. And I can see another one there in the bushes. If I can zoom in on him for you, can you see that? He looks like he's loading his musket. And so I assume he's another government soldier. And so we'll, we'll take... You'll get a better view of him here, and there's a wee board here with a wee bit of information concerning him. As you can see, the, the ground here is absolutely fantastic. So it is. But there you go. Oh, that's actually the commander himself. That's not a musket, that's a sword, as you can see. So that must be Nugent, the commander. Let's have a look and see. Yep, it is indeed. General Nugent commands the well presented heavily armed British forces and so there you can see he's he's commanding the forces the British forces here at uh, the Battle of Balnehinch and there were actually three young Presbyterian clergymen under the command of Henry Munro of Lisburn who was actually the rebel leader and they led the rebel vanguard into Balnehinch on the 11th of June, 1798. And the battle then began on the evening of the 12th of June, whenever General Nugent's government forces fired on the town from Windmill Hill with their cannon. And hopefully we'll be able to see Windmill Hill from here. And I also hope to do a wee video at Windmill Hill later on. But here we can see another government soldier. And he's taken aim and he's ready to fire. And it says, Crown forces, by far the better trained, use their experience and cannon to ensure a short-lived encounter. And so you can see that he's taken aim and he's firing on the rebels. And so we'll just make our way on up. And so the rebels had previously set up their headquarters here on Ignavati Hill on the 11th of June. And of course, cannonballs started to fly over the roof of the First Presbyterian Church, which is in Balnehinch, and I will show you that in a later video. And one of the cannonballs actually hit the roof of the market house and damaged the market house. And again, I'll show you the market house later on. And the thatched houses that were in that vicinity were actually set ablaze in the market square by the hail of missiles that poured down. Now, the streets of Balnehinch witnessed attack and counter-attack 
and the rebels eventually forced the government troops back and after hours of better hand-to-hand -hand fighting the rebels were eventually pushed back themselves to their headquarters here on Eden Valley Hill where they were finally defeated by the government troops and the town of Bonhinch was left in ruins 63 out of 132 houses were actually burnt down and the rest of them were either damaged or, or looted and the rebel captain Hugh McCulloch he was hanged on Windmill Hill and as I say I'll be doing a wee video on Windmill Hill later and Monroe who was the rebel leader he was arrested, he was taken to Hillsborough and then Lisbon and he was hanged and so you get a good view here and I'll be able to show you Windmill Hill from here as well where the old windmill still stands and as you can see here's another soldier with his pike and this is actually Henry Monroe the leader of the Down forces, the rebel forces and he opens the fighting with a discharge of cannon and so that's the according to that that's the uh, that's the rebel leader and I'll show you the view just shortly but you get a good view here of the, the battlefield itself as you can see and that's the battlefield And you can see the soldiers, that's the, the rebels, the rebel soldiers. United Irish pike men in the open, says vulnerable to guns, but formidable in close fighting, or in, the, in a close fight. And so you can see the, the rebels, and of course, down in the hedges there, the bushes, you have the government forces. And so you get a good feel here for the battle of Balna Hinch. And you can see over Balna Hinch, there's also a wee billboard here. Again, that's the photo that's, that was inside the building, if you remember, when we were inside the information and gift centre, where the wee shop is. And it gives you a wee bit of history on the battle of Balna Hinch. I'll just read the first line for you. Our first two lines. It was here in, it says the Battle of Balna Hinch, and it was here in this field on Eden Avadi Hill that United Irishmen from County Down gathered the night before the Battle of Balna Hinch on the 11th of June 1798. And of course, here, there's the mansion. You can see the mansion that we looked at earlier in another wee video. And also, you can see the windmill. That's Windmill Hill. And there's also the church, which is the Church of Ireland. And so you get a good view there of the battle site. And of course that would be from Balnehinch Town direction, looking towards Montalto. And so I'll give you a wee view here of the countryside, because it's absolutely breathtaking, as you can see. And you can also see Windmill Hill from here, and I'm going to try and show you it. If you can see it. That's actually it there in the middle of the photograph. You can see the two church spires, one on the left and one on the right. And just in the middle, just beyond the cream building, up on the hill there, you can see a poke, which is actually the windmill itself. That's the old windmill which is on Windmill Hill and of course one of the rebel officers Captain Hugh McCulloch was actually hanged was actually hanged on Windmill Hill and so that's the Battle of Balna Hinch and so stay tuned for my next wee video in which I will talk about a rebel heroine called Betsy Gray 
again thank you for tuning in and if you like the channel please give me a wee thumbs up and subscribe god bless